All right. In this video, we're going to walk through how to load an image from Planet Labs directly into a Google Earth Engine image collection using their API. And for this video, there's kind of a, you'll need to know how to use Jupyter Notebooks or have a little bit of familiarity with that, have it installed on a computer. Um, it might be possible to do this from a department computer, uh, which would allow you to do it without needing your own device set up. Um, Jupyter Notebooks is covered in open source uh, GIS. Um, and I could walk through how to do that in a future video, but it's a little bit on the download this kind of package side and do this and all that. So just for now, I'm going to presume that you know Jupyter Notebooks or have some basic familiarity ability to work with that. So to start, I'm going to figure out what image I want to download. And I'm just going to go over here to Middlebury again, do the same thing I did earlier with um, sort of drawing a geometry and filtering by cloud cover, looking for an ortho tile, that kind of thing. And so I'll do that real quick, apply those filters. Actually, I'm also going to filter by standard image quality, which is an important thing you can do um, just to get the, the images that have a good solar angle and all that kind of thing. So I'll do that. And April 4th, 2022 looks pretty good. It's a nice sharp image, very recent. If you think about it, it's only 10 days ago. So I've got that image ready. And what I'm going to need from it is the sort of code that's um, that references it, or the, the item ID. And so I'll click over in the bottom left where it shows API, and I'll look at the item IDs. And there's four different images here. So I could go for the full set of all of them. Maybe I'll just choose, choose one image that has most of the area for the time being. I'll go with maybe this one. Uh, that one's not covered too much. This one is the better choice, perhaps. And then if you click over here, you can sort of show which ones are coming up on the map. This one has the town of Middlebury, so maybe I'll go for that one. And I can go API. Now it'll show just that one item ID. And I'll copy that just so that it's in my clipboard. And the next step is you're going to need to have a image collection within the project that you're working in. Um, let me change the project here that I am working in by default to the Vermont one. And it's currently empty, but to make a delivery from the API into Google Earth Engine, you're going to need to have an image collection. I'll put it in the assets of my Vincent Vermont folder, and I'll just call this image collection. It'll and I'll hit OK. Now I've got an image collection that's currently empty, set up and ready there. All right, and so how I'm going to access the Jupyter Notebook um, in order to load the the API, the Planet API, and deliver the image to the Google Earth Engine. I'm going to go to the console on my um, Mac here. And this might look different depending on, um, on your setup. I'm going to terminate that because it had something running. And I'll hit Jupyter. Then I hit Enter. And basically what that should do is it'll run through some stuff and then it'll open Jupyter Notebooks on my computer itself. And I've done this before. There's a bunch of different Jupyter Notebooks in here. But the one I want is called Tutorial Planet to GEE. And if all works to plan, it should be set up in such a way that you can run this and it'll be able to load an image into Google Earth Engine. So this first code kind of just sets up this the packages, this chunk you can hit run, it'll run that. In the next one, you'll have your API key, which you can get to in 
plan it on your account by going to my settings and then looking at your API key. Um, and then you'll just copy paste that in there, hit run. That should be all set up. This one authenticates to the API and gets ready to make the orders. I'll just hit run again. And if that goes well, it should hit, it should respond with response 200. And in this next one, that's where you're gonna set up the actual order itself. Um, and so in this request section, you'll put in what the name of the image collection you're headed to is, I believe. Uh, or no, this is, the, this is the name of the order itself. So I'm just gonna call it Middlebury image because it's a single image of Middlebury. And then item IDs, this is where you're gonna want to paste in the item ID that you found in Planet Explorer. And you'll want to put it in quotes. And I can delete that extra line there. And then make sure that you've got the right item type and product bundle. So if I go over here, I can see that it's a planet scope ortho tile that I'm looking at. Um, so I do have the right thing with PS ortho tile. And I do want it to be analytic SR, I believe, because that's the surface reflectance product. Um, and so I've got that ready. And I've specified what Google Earth Engine project I'm going to. And then I changed the collection name. It's called Middlebury Images, I believe. I can look back, yep, Middlebury Images. And so I'll run that section. And that just gets it ready to make the, the request to Planet API. This is the step where it actually places the order. Um, and this one can be a little bit finicky if anything is, you know, mistyped or anything like that. So I'll just hit run and hopefully that'll go. And it says that it's queued. And so in a while it should eventually, if all goes to plan, the image will be on its way. It'll take a long time to load perhaps, but it should show up in Middlebury images.